Uh, I would like to welcome to you all uh, for, uh, for taking our time to come in and, and attend this event and support um, the local uh, scholarship and uh, scholarly work uh, that the uh, Muslim community has been contributing to uh, not only Delaware uh, but, the, uh, but the whole world. Uh, <clears throat> tonight's uh, panel discussion, as you know, is, it revolves around the concept uh, that but Nassim Hassan, he has raised in his book uh, called An American Experience. Uh, I understand that a lot of you have already uh, bought the book. Uh, we, we will have a little time after the panel discussion so that you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Um, and he'll be very happy to sign a copy of the book for you. Uh, all the proceeds that uh, Nassim has uh, donated to the school. Uh, so anything that you pay uh, would directly go and benefit uh, uh, the, the academic programs at the Bia School and the children uh, who attend uh, the school. Uh, <clears throat> the book is about first generation American immigrants um, and their experiences uh, that, they, that they undergo uh, when they come in um, and try to start a new life in this country. Uh, the book, as you uh, will get an opportunity to read through, uh, touches upon a number of uh, important uh, topics. Some of these topics that I have identified um, as I went through this book, uh, they are about experiences, feeling, and thoughts about American foreign policies that, that when uh, people come into this country, immigrants, they cannot easily uh, give up their love for the home country. That, that love still remains there. Um, even though they, you know, it's a newfound love uh, for the new country, but that uh, that love remains there, and that's why uh, you know it becomes very, uh, very a part and parcel of their daily lives uh, to to ponder and think about the American policies, foreign policies, especially towards different countries, particularly the home country. Um, in this case, uh, since Nassim. Um, is from Southeast Asia. Um, he was born in India and later moved to Pakistan and then from Pakistan he moved to uh, America. Uh, he has uh, association with that region not in terms of just Pakistan and India, he has association as uh, Southeast Asian. Um, another topic that um, I discovered, uh, and that, that's where the book starts, um, is about the feeling of praise and awesomeness about the new culture and the new country. Um, and, and you will find there are uh, several chapters uh, on that concept. Uh, he, has already, he has also written on, uh, on the life of minorities in the U.S. Uh, he talks about impact of new culture on religion. Um, uh, a lot of immigrants when they come in, it doesn't matter whether they are Muslims or Hindus or, or uh, belong to another um, religion, they have, um, uh, they experience that impact of the new culture on their religion. And that's what he talks about in, in a couple of uh, chapters in the book. And then uh, finally, um, uh, I find out that in addition to reflections, um, uh, on the American foreign policies, there is also uh, this willingness and uh, and uh, feeling of care about the about the home country. Uh, when when immigrants see that there are bad things going on, uh, they reflect upon it. That that no, this is not how should how things should be done. Things should be done differently. And you'll find out that he he puts forward a number of uh, uh, suggestions regarding that. Um, so, so these issues that he has raised, I think they are they are very important issue, and we need to, as a community, uh, get together and think about those things. Uh, and that's what this panel kind of discussion is all about. We are very uh, blessed to have a, an excellent uh, group of panelists here, um, the, and they will talk about they will talk about different issues that have been raised in this book uh, from their own experiences to enrich the conversation. Um, our panelists tonight include, um, from, from the uh, far right side, uh, Brother Abdullah Muhammad. He, um, I, I, will, I will go ahead and give a uh, detailed introduction later, but uh, he is coordinator at the Bia School. He, he coordinates uh, school's activities with, for, uh, with uh, 
uh, government agencies outside the school. Uh, the second uh, panelist um, next to Brother Abdullah is uh, uh, Mr. Michelle Church. Uh, she is a newly convert to Islam and she has an excellent um, um, theories about, uh, about her feelings on, on the immigration uh, subject. Um, then we have uh, Brother Wasim. He is uh, representing uh, Upal family. Upal family is uh, one of the largest Muslim families in Delaware. Uh, their number of uh, people in that family uh, far exceed uh, 50 or 50 plus. 50 plus. Um, and they all uh, hail from this one man, uh, Muhammad uh, Dufel Uhu, who who spent his life. He's 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 very sick uh, right now. Uh, I would request you to, to pray for for his good health. Um, he could not make it. Uh, but we wanted to recognize his efforts that he went through uh, when he moved from, when he uh, immigrated from India to Pakistan and then from Pakistan to Delaware and then he you know, became a founder of this, this great family, uh, family of uh, lovely people. I mean, if I were to do a TLC show on all American Muslims, probably that would be one family that I would pick. Um, and he's representing there, we want to uh, appreciate and honor his sacrifices, his uh, struggle for freedom. Um, and, um, and that's why that's why we have Brother Wasim uh, sitting there. Uh, next is um, uh, Dr. Patricia uh, Snowlight. She is uh, uh, she's a professor at the University of Delaware and she is the director of Islamic uh, Studies program. Uh, she will be moderating the open discussion after panelists are done. So thank you very much for coming here. Uh, then we have Dr. Muktadar Khan. Um, Dr. Muktadar Khan, I'm, I'm sure most of you already know about him. Um, he is a professor. He was the founding uh, uh, director of Islam Studies program. Um, uh, and, and I'll go through his uh, detailed introduction in a, in a few minutes. Then I have uh, Brother Yaja Hashem. He's, uh, he's one of the founders uh, of Islamic Society of Delaware. Uh, that was uh, probably one of the first uh, uh, mosque in, in Delaware uh, that, that he helped found. And then uh, Brother uh, Nassim Hassan, um, and I've already talked about him, uh, he is the author of the book. Um, we will start our conversation uh, with a keynote uh, speech from uh, Dr. Muktadar Khan. Dr. Muktadar Khan is a very busy person. Uh, he has a number of other appointments today, but he was kind enough to take out some time and he, is, he will be leaving in a little bit. Uh, but we are very happy to have him here. Dr. Muktadar Khan, um, as I said, is an assistant professor, associate professor in the Department of Political Science and International Relations at the University of Delaware. He earned his PhD in International Relations, Political Philosophy, Islamic Political Thought from Georgetown University in May 2000. He founded the Islamic Studies program at the, at the University of Delaware and was its first director from 2007 to 2010. Dr. Khan is a fellow of the, uh, with the Institute of Social Policy and Understanding. He was a senior non-resident uh, fellow with the Brookings Institute from 2003 to 2008 and a fellow of Al-Walid Center at Georgetown uh, University from 2006 to 2007. He has been President, Vice President, and, and General Secretary of the Association of Muslim Social Scientists. Uh, he's author of uh, American Muslims, Bridging Faith and Freedom, Jihad for Jerusalem, Identity and Strategy in International Rel Relations, Islamic Democratic Discourse and Debating Moderate Islam, The Geopolitics of Islam and the West. Uh, these are some of his books. Dr. Khan frequently comments on uh, BBC, CNN International, Fox, and Voice of America, uh, Bridge TV, NPR, and other radio and TV networks. His political commentaries appear uh, regularly in newspapers in over 20 countries. Uh, he's, uh, he has lectured in North America, East Asia, Middle East, and Europe. Uh, please welcome Dr. Muqtada Khan. Good afternoon. Uh, first, let me begin by apologizing twice. 